this guy's garage. Like and subscribe. The Honorable Leader of the Official Opposition. What Canadians know is that the Prime Minister has doubled housing costs, doubled the rent, doubled mortgage payments, doubled the needed down payment. After eight years, Mr. Speaker, our housing costs have worsened at a greater rate than all but one OECD country. And yesterday, a senator asked the head of the Prime Minister's own housing agency if there is a federal government plan to eliminate the 3.5 million home deficit that we have in Canada. The answer? No. It's not me saying that. It's his own housing agency. So given that he doesn't have a plan, why doesn't he watch the common sense housing do uh, uh, do documentary I put forward so that he can see a common sense plan to cut bureaucracy and build homes? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, it is shameful that the Conservative leader is exploiting the very real anxieties and fears of Canadians for clicks and views. This leader continues to demean co-ops as Soviet-style housing. He called a Niagara family's home a shack, and he keeps using homeless people as props. A responsible leader acts on the concerns of Canadians instead of exploiting them for political gain just so he can get his 15 minutes. Here, here. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. What is shameful is that this Prime Minister is causing homelessness in this country. He's caused the doubling of the number of people eating at a food bank in Toronto. One uh, single mother in Sydney said, well, this month I had to choose between eating and having heat. My kids are getting fed, but my house is freezing. End quote. The Prime Minister's solution is to quadruple the carbon tax on that single mother and on seniors. Mr. Speaker, we have a common sense Conservative bill to take the carbon tax off farmers and food. Why did the Prime Minister manipulate and intimidate Liberal senators into blocking that bill? Why does he want to tax food right before Christmas? <laughs> The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, after all the intimidation and threats from the Conservatives towards parliamentarians on 234, it turns out the only farming the Conservative Party cares about is rage farming. Because all of this was just an attempt to fundraise off of the backs of farmers. Time and time again, the Conservative leader has shown that he wants to take Canadians back to the Stone Age instead of helping them get ahead. Ahead. On this side of the House, the Liberal government will always be there to support farmers. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Mr. Speaker, as this Prime Minister raises taxes on food, brings back malnutrition, brings in record-smashing food bank use, the best he can come up with is a bunch of scripted talking points from junior staffers in the PMO. That is outrageous. Canadians are going hungry as Christmas is just around the corner. And a common-sense Conservative bill to take the tax off farmers and food could have helped solve the problem. Why did he manipulate and intimidate senators to keep the tax on the food and make our people go hungry right before Christmas. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, we have an opposition leader who is so ideologically opposed to protecting the planet that he's willing to take Parliament hostage and stop Parliament from supporting workers, stop, stop Parliament from supporting families, and stop Parliament from supporting Ukraine as well. The leader of the opposition has threatened to ruin the holidays if his ideological demands are not met. Let us be clear. We will keep working for Canadians while the Conservative leader is only fueled by the sound of his own voice and has no real plan for this country. We will never back down from supporting Canadians.